Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie. This is the week 27, July the 4th through July the 10th a weekly wrap up. Okay, if you didn't notice, we are in a different location. That is all because I am on the fourth day of swim meets and we had to get up super, super early and we have a super long day go going ahead for uh, me and my family. We are going to the commissary to get groceries and all kinds of things. I had a nail emergency, so I had to go get my nails done. If you didn't see that reel, um, I'm doing like some claws things going on. Hopefully the lighting is okay for you guys to be able to see everything. If not, you'll at least be able to see the covers because I will be still doing the inserts and everything like that. So a little housekeeping to get through with. Um, our Patreon pick for the Butter Re Buddy Read is going to be Blame It on the Champagne by Fiona Cole. Uh, I'm super excited to read this book. There is a second book out for this, but uh, from what I understand, they are standalones, so we don't need to read both of them to get a full story. Each story is a standalone, so you know it's gonna be a whole bunch of fun. I love Fiona Cole, and I plan on reading the other books that uh, were options as well, so that is something we can talk about during our buddy read. That is still up in the air. We have a tie between on uh, mid evening on a Wednesday and mid evening on a Saturday. So you guys need to go ahead and continue to vote on which day is going to be best for you. Uh, that third week of, um, of July. Uh, and I no longer have to go on forced vacation. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Super excited about that because kiddo got invited to go to the big meet down in Florida. So, <laughs> Happy claps for him on that. I'm so excited that he uh, did that. So let's get into the books that I did read last week. I read a total of six books last week. Um, I will have a vlog coming out because I decided to do a 24 hour readathon last week as well. Um, and let's just get into the first book that I'm going to be talking about. And that is 40 Love. There's something about Marysburg, number two by Olivia Dade. I place this in contemporary. I give it 2.5 stars. Um, I give it three steam fans. I read this as an audiobook, And, ooh, guys, uh, this is a little painful. There are some content warnings. Those content warnings are the age difference and I'm putting it as a content warning because it was constantly, constantly, constantly talked about throughout the story and it got a little overwhelming. It was great that she was older and that he was younger, but the gosh, dang it. I mean, like seriously, how often did they have to say that there was an age difference and oh, you're not gonna want me because there's an age difference. Oh, you're not gonna want me because there's an age difference. And then to go on top of that, her whole self-esteem issues about being fat was kind of getting on my nerves as well. It was super annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Everyone kind of hyped this up and it just did not hit right for me. And uh, yeah, that was a thing. So, um, just to give you a little backstory, if you don't know what 40 Love is, you have Tess, who is a assistant administrator at her school. She wants to become the principal when the old principal leaves and she's on vacation with her friend, which didn't really make any sense to me either. I was just like, uh, what? what? What is going on here? I don't understand. Um, but she's in the waves she's in the water in the in the great blue water and stuff like that and then a wave hits her and she loses her top and her big old titties are hanging out all over the place well the tennis pro for the resort that she is in happens to be in the water with her and saves her with a towel or actually his body or something like that so that some teenagers don't um see her big old titties and her body and all that good stuff so uh yeah then they start a relationship of you know oh me maybe i can try it and you know have a fling and you know what uh, <clears throat> it just got really annoying by the end and i was just like over it i was like eh, okay um not really sure if i'm gonna go back and read the first book in this series just because it was kind of annoying how much it was talked about about the age difference and the uh the size difference yeah yeah 
Next book that I finished was Continuum by Danielle Allen. I'm placing this in contemporary. Give it 3.5 stars. Give it 4.25 Steam fans. And I read this as an ebook. This is a black author. And I have been seeing this book all over TikTok. I love this cover. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and the story is Aisha and Kwame. Um, they had a secret crush against or towards each other when they were in college. She was his tutor and then um, he had a girlfriend all while they were in college. And when she decided she wanted to take her shot, she didn't get a chance to because he was coming out of or he was late to their last tutoring session because he was with his ex and, you know, kind of said that it was it was complicated. And um, so she was like, eh, you're still with homegirl, so I'm just going to let it be. 15 years later, they are back in the same place and happen to um, run into each other again, thanks to sort of the spirit of a friend that passes. Um, there is content warning for grief within this story. Um, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the second chance sort of romance that um, Asha and Kwame have. There are some steamy moments that were like, oh, yes. But um, at the same time, there were some moments that were like, why is this included in this story? I just don't understand. But um, overall, I did enjoy the story. The next book that we have is Dodging Temptation, Retreat Number One by Avery Flynn. Place this in contemporary. Give this book 4.25 stars. Give it three Steam fans. Listen to it as an audiobook. And this book follows Dodge and Harper. Dodge is the owner of this retreat. And it was very interesting to me because I really, so the book cover has a dark black man on it. And it sounds like the family, um, is possibly possibly mixed in race or like he's biracial but he's a very dark man he's a very dark man i was here for it but at the same time the descriptions that i was getting within the story i was like mm, are we light or are we dark because <laughs> i might need to you know when forming my fan cast in my head it that kind of changes who i have you know do i have Michael B. Jordan or Idris Elba, or do I have Michael Ely? You know, that, that that's sort of where I fell. I was like, ah, ah. But anyways, back to the story. So Dodge is the owner of this retreat that is for the elite. And oh gosh, it's about to start raining. No, this is bad. Um, so about these elite sort of celebrity retreat privacy is a big thing and then we have harper who is hired to catalog um his dodge's mother's um cowboy uh journals and things like that after she has a huge scandal because she is an ex-senator or a senator's wife and he kind of confronts her and humiliates her on national television so she kind of takes the job and is like i'm getting up out of here i'm divorced i divorced his ass and i'm just not here for it well paparazzi end up finding out that harper is on the retreat as well and the two of them have to work together to sort of keep the paparazzi away because there is another high profile uh guest that is staying there and dodge is trying to woo some investors and he doesn't need anything to mess up his situation so there is that the next book that I finished was Unveiled by Verlin Landon. I am placing this in Romantic Suspense Light and Contemporary. I give it 4.25 stars. I give it three Steam fans. I read this as an arc. This is part of the Salvation Society that is being released today. So go out and read it. Go out and pick it up. Um, and this one, we have Rush and we have Tatum. We have a runaway bride situation where Tatum is on the run on her wedding day in her wedding dress. And Mark and Charlie end up seeing her running down the road. So they pick her up and are like, we're here to help you because that is Mark and Charlie because they're fucking amazing. Um, and so they help her by allowing her to work in um, this Navy SEAL's house that is on his way from Texas to Virginia. 
and it was so much fun their meet cute was a hilarious um so rush ends up finding out some information about his past relationship and he ends up just jumping on his bike riding from texas to virginia um in one trip and ends up passing out on his own couch at his new house and when he wakes up to go get himself ready he finds that tatum is in his shower and from there they sort of have this like really rushes this like asshole sort of kind of guy and i was here for it but in the center of it all they both have trust issues uh tatum has some family things that end up happening to her some family trauma that she's trying to work out and the reason i say that is romantic suspense light is because all that suspense sort of revolving around what uh tatum is going through doesn't really happen until like 60 percent into the book and then you're like okay okay you kind of see it coming you kind of know that um there's some suspicion that uh some bad people that are mentioned in the beginning of the story are really bad and then you find out the whole connection so i really enjoyed it and um yeah yeah i loved loved uh mark and charlie in this because they were so badass because they're badass then we have revive by heather lynn placing this one in romantic suspense light as well uh mostly contemporary give it 4.25 stars give it the resting fans read this one as an arc and this is part of salvation society as well um there are content warnings for this one and that is grief death and trauma we are dealing with the connection of natalie liam and beckett and i just knew it i was like and you don't find out the connection for beckett until the epilogue but that was okay because every single time i saw beckett's name throughout this entire story i was like is this the same beckett is this my beckett is this is this beckett beckett we i know beckett i know this name um from the salvation series and it is the same beckett so back to our main story we have genevieve who is a single mom she has to get out of the situation um, after she's going to see her family and they, um, the douche bag impregnate her, uh, hits her once and she's like, no, no, you didn't want me and now you didn't laid your hands on me and we're done. We are done. So uh, she moves back in with her parents and then you see that she moves to Virginia to sort of start her life over again and she is getting her life back. She has this sexy, sexy across the street neighbor that saves her daughter that's like bubbly and starts to run towards the uh, towards the road one day and he comes and swoops her up and uh, that is Sawyer, by the way. Um, yes that is Sawyer and he swoops her up and then they start a sort of I need time because I have trust issues but at the same time I'm really attracted to you and I love the slow burn of this and I am not a big slow burn person you guys know this um but this one was like so good because the sexual tension was there you knew that the the each character wanted each other, but they were kind of like shying off because of the things that they had going on in their past. Then the final book that I finished reading last week was Revelation by Missy Ann, placing this in contemporary, giving this um, also sort of a light romantic suspense. This book I'm giving 3.5 stars to, give it 2.5 Steam fans, read it as an arc, part of the Salvation Society as well. And this one has content warnings for school shooting, uh, suicide, revenge, grief, guilt, uh, childhood, um, oh, childbearing, childbearing, uh, sort of, what am I trying to say? Abandonment and uh, addiction. So lots of triggers, lots of content warnings for this one. Um, this one follows Rhett and Callie. Rhett is a member of the SEAL team that has two little boys. He decides on one of his deployments that, you know, once he gets home, um, his boys are more important than the job of being a SEAL, even though he really, really wants to be it. Um, but he ends up retiring from the Navy 
working for coal security and I was here for it. I loved Rhett from like the very beginning. Um, I remember the name Barnes because that's Rhett's last name. I remember the name Barnes, but then I was like, we really did not hear any much, didn't hear any information about him through the Salvation series. So um, I love that we expounded it. However, it did fall a little flat when it came to Callie, who is our female character. And we find out that she has some family trauma in her past and that she has some secrets and everything like that. But we really don't find out what those secrets are. The dangling of the secrets, the dangling of the secrets were really just kind of annoying and it was like okay can you just tell me why this person is stalking her um because Rhett is hired to be Callie's bodyguard now that she is moving to Virginia and uh because she is a traveling nurse uh pediatric nurse at that um and then there was a childhood uh medical issue that's thrown in there that's just like but why but why 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 did we add this I don't understand but that's okay because in the end, it was a beautifully sweet story and um, I appreciated it and uh, enjoyed it. So what am I currently reading? I am currently reading Reckless by Nicole Blanchard. This is one of the Salvation Society books, as well as Relinquish by Alexa Chase. Um, another Salvation Society book that uh, comes out today. I will be also picking up Neon Gods by Katie Robert. Um, and then, of course, uh, I'll be reading the Buddy Reed pick uh, sometime this week or possibly next week. No, it would have to be this week. It would have to be this week. Yes. Okay. So I think I have jabbered on enough. Hopefully you guys were able to hear me throughout this entire video. Um and uh, I hope you guys will continue to vote on the time and the day that we decide to meet for our Zoom meeting. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and we will see you in another video.